Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, let's create new background layer with Solid. Add name background, click OK and move to behind of layers. And go to effects preset, search effect fill, use for background and change color to black. Click OK and select background, let's Ctrl D for duplicate, change the name grid. And select grid, let's delete fill and go to effects preset, search effect grid. And select grid from generator, let's use for grid layer. And change size form with slider and change slider like this. And color, let's change like this, click OK and opacity okay pretty good and finally let's go to fs presses search fx lens and select cc lens use for grid and change size okay very nice and select grid and background lock layers let's create new null object for control this gun layer and for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pen behind icon, clearization tool, and move to here, select layer gun, object, and fire, link to null object, select null, press S, open scale, chain scale, and move to like this. In this time, select this object, and let's move to down, and press P, let's create new person in keyframe, and go to one second. And move to up like this. Okay, and let's select two frames, make it easy. Let's see. Okay, go to graph editor, select first second, select this graph, and let's make graph like this. Okay, back to two frames, select last two frame, move to left. And right now, select this null and let's add vibration. And let's press P, create new passing keyframe. Go to two keyframe and let's move to up and move to back. Go to three keyframes one, two, three. Again, move to left, move to down. Let's see. Okay, select two frames, make it easy and move to left. Let's timing. Okay, let's move to right. And select two frames. Move to right for more slow animation. Okay, and let's go to middle two frame. And move to left little bit. Okay, go to again some two frames. Move to up little bit. Okay, that's good. Select two frames and let's see timing. Okay, right now we can move to the left these two frames. So in this time, select this null and go to five two frames and create new pass in two frame. Go to ten two frames, move to back and down. Go to ten two frames, move to the left and move to up. Let's see. Okay, go to back here. Hold shift press R create rotation two frame. And go to here, let's chain rotation like this. Go to next shift frame, chain like this. Let's see. Okay, select two frames for rotation and make it easy. Select work area. Okay, select these three two frames, hold Alt, move to left for more fast animation. Okay, and go to, let's see these two frames, one, two, three, okay. Go to three two frames, one, two, three. And move to like this, move to down, and change like this. Go to three two frames, move to left and up, chain rotation. Let's see. Okay, go to three two frames, one, two, three. Move to back and down. Again, three two frames, move to left and chain rotation. 
so we can make duplicate two frames but these single two frames will be very natural movements go three two frames one two three again let's move to back chain rotation again three two frames move to left chain rotation again three two frames move to back and chain rotation zero so let's see okay so three two frames let's copy and control v for loop animation nice and let's move to right for stop animation okay let's see nice select two frames let's copy and go to here again control v and select work area let's see nice very good so in this time select this layer fire and go to solo move to anchor point up click tool and unsolo let's go to here and press r create rotation two frame go to three two frames one two three chain rotation like this let's move that again go three two frames one two three chain like this again three two frames let's see okay so two frames make it easy and let's copy ctrl v ctrl c again let's let's create new rotation two frame go to here and chain rotation and copy two frames and here and here nice so select these layers click this icon for motion blur nice very good so let's create fire shape layer and go to first second and let's go to shape layers pen tool go to fill change color yellow and let's use glow effect select glow use for this and change like these settings let's select this glow control d for duplicate for more glow effect okay not bad so in this time select the shape layer change name fire and go to first second let's go to two G frames one two go to edit split layer or control shift d and delete and let's select this fire let's change name fire yellow and control d for duplicate move to right and next yellow change name fire red and go to fire here and change color red or let's try use yellow and select this glow too let's see okay let's use this glow okay not bad let's see and select this red go to here and let's select pen tool change some like this nice clearization tool and select this file yellow control d move to here and red move to right so select these file layers let's right mouse and pre compose add name fire one click ok open composition select work area like this and let's see let's go to select region of interest select region like this and composition crop come to region of interest for chain size and select this file let's put here and control d this composition move to right again control d move to right and again and again so in this time select these fires let's link to null object and let's see 
Okay, and in this time, let's select this and chain like this for cut layers. And here again, let's move to left and right now again cut and go to here, move to left. Nice. And here. So. And in this time, let's move to right and delete this conversation. Nice, very good. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Good luck.